Today we're going to talk about the nervous system, and while I explain to you, you'll write down notes in your folders. But before, I want you to think: How do your bodies interpret the information that I'm giving you, and that you'll write afterward? The information about what we listen and watch reaches our brain, and it sends the order to our hands so that we can write that information in our folders. Very good. That is, there are organs called sensory organs, which receive that information and send it to the brain, which, in turn, processes it to produce a voluntary movement. That is, a motor response. The sensory signal must travel from the sensory organs to the brain. And from it, the response travels to the motor muscles. This whole set of sensory organs, nervous pathways, and processing centers is called nervous system. However, not all muscles are moved consciously. Can any of you think of a muscle that cannot be controlled consciously? The heart. Right. The heart is controlled unconsciously, the same as the muscles of the internal organs and the glands. So the nervous system, together with the endocrine system, is the one in charge of regulating and coordinating all the functions of the organism, whether voluntary or not. It starts receiving the information to then elaborate a response and to produce an effect. In order to study it, it has been divided into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up by the brain and the spinal. What is the brain? It's the portion of the nervous system that is enclosed into the skull. There we can find the brain, the cerebellum, and other organs and glands. On the other hand, the peripheral nervous system consists of nerves that go in and out of the central nervous system. When these nerves carry information into the central nervous system, they are called sensory nerves, as the information comes from the senses. But if they send information from the central nervous system to the organs, they are called motor nerves. They produce some kind of movement that may be voluntary, also called somatic, or involuntary, known as automatic. It smells deliciously. What are you cooking? Pasta with sauce. It's mouth watering. Okay, tell your mouth to be patient because it's not ready yet. I may tell it, but I don't think it will listen to me because my saliva is involuntary. It depends on the autonomic nerves. All right, autonomic. Put your voluntary muscles to work and help me set the table. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya.